All right, here's a quick rundown of the uh, setup here at OU. Um, there's the dome. I want to basically go through the setup for controlling the dome. So down here we've got um, the dome control box. Uh, this provides power for rotation motors for the shutters as well. Uh, to fire things up, this is plugged into standard 120. There's a switch right here. We just need to turn that on. And the little red light right there will go on. That will co control rotation. I'll do that here in a second. Um, let's step inside. We're going to hear some construction noise. This cable is going up to the box up there. Uh, the box will then feed power over to the motor. And then it's also going to feed power um, and data to uh, all the connections, uh, these orange slip rings. Basically, they're a combination of 110 volt electricity and also data coming in uh, from both the upper and lower shutters. If we follow this around, on this side of the dome, we've got uh, the controls up there. So on the left is the lower, or what's called the dropout shutter, and on the right is the upper shutter. Those are the manual controls. We control this through software as well, but if you're ever in the dome and need to operate it, you can operate it through those controls. And then I'm gonna come up here on the ladder to get a look over here. Uh, this is a secondary data power connection, just in case one of the little connectors that are riding within these rings bounces. Um, you get continuous power. There's two sets here. They're, it's sort of a redundant system. Uh, this is the lower shutter motor. Um, it also has an encoder in there. Uh, behind, well, actually not behind, but over here in the back, that's the limit switch for the lower shutter. It handles both fully open and fully closed. Right now we're fully closed. That trips uh, the little handle and that cable that's down there. When the shutter's fully open, it extends and trips um, that lever the other way. If we follow the dome up towards the very back, let's see if we get a good picture of this. Back on that side, uh, you'll see a, a switch. That's the limit switch for the upper shutter. It handles, again, both fully open, fully closed. Right now it's tripped in the fully closed position. Uh, right back there we see that uh, hook. That's a manual open. In other words, there's a, there's a long pole with a little hook on the end that goes into that ring. And you could twist it then and manually open the shutter or close the shutter if you had uh, no power whatsoever. And on this side over here, um, it's a secondary switch. Doesn't stop the shutter movement in general, but what it does is it senses if I'm tripped, then um, if the lower shutter is not fully closed, it stops the movement on the upper shutter. Uh, because the lower shutter's got to close first before the upper shutter can be closed. Okay, now I'm at the level to open or operate the uh, shutters. So I've got two. There's the upper shutter, there's the lower shutter, and then it's labeled both to open and to close on either side. <clears throat> if you're going to open the shutters manually, you need to open the upper first, at least to a position. So if I flip this to open, you can see we're opening up. And I'll let this open for a little bit so I can show you the lower shutter. And how limit switches work. So if I leave this, it's going to go until it's fully open, and then the limit switch will trip and it'll stop movement, even if this is still pointed to open. I'm going to flip it back to center, and uh, we're stopping movement. So let's open the lower shutter a little bit. 
So again, over here. And the winch in there is gonna feed out cable. It's a cabled system. You see the cable feeding out. There's an arm over there that's spring-loaded. That pushes the door out to a certain point. Uh, and then gravity takes over, right? The gravity will drop the door on its own. So in a second here, we'll see, uh, you see the door moving away from that arm. And so the weight of the door is now pulling it open. Let me stop that by moving this again back to center. And I'll show you the limit switches when we fully close. Now we're feeding back in. Now we'll see if we can, um, the little bar back in there that's gonna hit that lever. When it hits the lever and pushes the lever up, it's going to stop this. There you go. So even though I'm still have the lever in the closed position, we're fully stopped. Uh, whenever that happens, always move the lever back to center. And so now let's do the same thing with the upper shutter. So here we are closing. And this close will get triggered by, and it'll be hard to see on the video, but just above the blue door here. Okay, back on the back of the shutter, you see a blue-green switch. Uh, that's gonna hit a handle here in just a second. And there we're fully stopped. And it should give you a nice tight seal between the upper and lower shutters. Okay, let's head down the ladder and do uh, rotation. So on rotation, uh, we're labeled clockwise. So as you're looking at the dome, clockwise is gonna go that way and then counterclockwise uh, to the left. So let's rotate. And you can see the dome rotating and I will stop. There is no limit switch on the dome rotation. So if I tell it to rotate clockwise, it'll continue to rotate clockwise until I flip everything back to the neutral position. Same thing with counterclockwise. And then to stop it. And here in a second, I'll show you about computer connections.